It's been more than 40 years since Bauhaus' Bela Lugosi's death. The very first God's Rock song was released in 1979. Still, God is a very well-known subculture that has been integrated in art and fashion and developed as a gothic aesthetic. For those who wonder why we call a certain type of dark and mysterious fashion, Goth, I have the answer about the history of this word, Goth, in my video titled Goth, Thousand of Years History, but of course I'll give you a short recap. The word Goth went from a Germanic tribe to a Gothic architectural style to Gothic literature and then to Goth music and the subculture. Now it is also known as an aesthetic or a fashion style. But if you want the details on how it can go from this to this, I recommend you to check my previous video out because it was quite a fascinating story. Now back to our gothic fashion. A little bit of disclaimer, though from now on I might mention gothic influenced music from time to time, the focus of this video is more of the various type of gothic fashion rather than the goth subculture which is heavily influenced by goth rock music. The birth of goth rock led to the birth of other similar genre like dark wave. Dark wave is inherently goth music, with influences from new wave and synth pop, other well-known genres of the era. Like punks or metalheads, when people say that they are goth, you can expect that they mean they are a big fan of goth music. They may not wear cool eyeliners, they may not even dress in all black, but that doesn't mean that they are not goth. Likewise, you can appreciate and be a part of the beauty of gothic aesthetic or gothic fashion while not listening to goth music. Gothic fashion is typically distinguished by its dark, airy, antiquated and often exotic elements. Black or dark colours are the most preferable and used as the main colour. Material-wise, it is common to see laces, leathers and velvet on most gothic style garments, but it is not actually that restricted. You do not need to buy clothes from a gothic style shop to assemble a complete gothic look. You can find some basic item in regular stores or second-handed stores, and you can even DIY some pieces you own. The easiest way to start is to start with the black basics, like black shirts, black skirts or pants, or black dresses. Give it a plus if those items remind you of the Victorian silhouette, a witch or a vampire, or it could be something a bit more distressed. For makeup, what fits with this style are usually bold, with black eyeliners and black lipsticks. To make a simple black look more gothic, you can add gothic style accessories like corsets, shirkers, fishnets, or just leather belts. For footwear, you can't go wrong with boots, platforms, or antique style shoes, but black sneakers are cool too. But of course, there is more to the gothic style than what I've just said. So here are some gothic styles to look into to figure out which style or styles you love the most. Traditional goth, also known as trad goth, is a gothic fashion rooted in the 80s underground goth scene. You can think of this style as the OG. The fashion was based on goth bands like Bauhaus, The Velvet Underground, Alien Sex Fiend, Sisters of Mercy, and many more. Considering that goth music emerged during the post-punk period, the trad goth style also incorporates many pieces resembling the rebellious punk fashion. To pull this style off, you need a lot of black and leather. Fishnets, dark lips and eyeliners, studs and spikes are great for a trad goth look. Trad goth tees hairstyles are usually epic. Other items like boots, ripped clothing, chains, accessories with bats and skulls are also on the checklist. To explain simply, a Victorian goth combines Victorian fashion with a dark aesthetic. People who love this style may also enjoy gothic literature, poetry or films. The style begins with an elegant black dress or an all-black suit with Victorian silhouettes, plus some intricate patterns, add a vest or a corset for an antiquated look. Cravats and top hats are fabulous for this style. The music that goes well with this niche could be dark ballroom instrumental music or goth rock or dark wave. I love to listen to dark classical ambients from Nox Arcana, Adrian Von Siegler, Peter Gundry or other musicians while writing. This style is not to be confused with romantic goths who draw inspiration from romance in gothic songs and literature. 
More often than not, you will find flowy laces and soft velvets in this type of clothes. Some romantic goths also love medieval silhouettes, while Victorian goths prefer their style to assemble the Victorian, which is not that restricted, considering that the Victorian is quite a long period of 63 years. Fashion in that era must be changed, more or less. For instance, this silhouette and this one are both in the Victorian, but in different years. It was only that most people recognized this one more. Romantic goths also enjoy dark classical songs and goth rock songs with sad romantic meanings. This is more depending on the personal taste. From the literature perspective, there are differences between romanticism and gothic literature. Romanticism movement in literature began in the late 18th century and focused on emotions, imagination, and spirituality, most often about innate qualities and the celebration of nature's beauty. Fiction under the romanticism genre can express a melancholy feeling too. Dark romanticism, a subgenre of romanticism, is particularly concerned with human sin, evil, and darkness, the pessimistic side of human nature. Moby Dick and the Scarlet Letter are two examples of dark romanticism literature. On the other hand, Gothic literature that was common in the late 18th and 19th century focuses more on mystery and suspense, supernatural, horror, and emotional extremes. Something with more terror, centered on the subject of darkness and the macabre. The popular Gothic books are Dracula, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein, and The Phantom of the Opera. Cyber goth is another unique gothic fashion. They give an industrial, kind of cyberpunk and goth look through the mixture of goth and raver styles, known for their fun and party vibes. The term cyber goth was said to be used the first time in 1988 in a post-apocalyptic game, Dark Future. With their industrial style, cyber goth usually vibe with the dark electro, industrial metal or other music genres with cyber or industrial elements. To be honest, I don't know much about the cyber gods, so if you have any cool recommendations for songs or bands, please share with us in the comment section. Their outfits appear futuristic or post-apocalyptic, with bright neon or saturated colors contrasted against their black attire. Their iconic items are goggles, respirators, and furry boot covers called fluffies. They put on black outfits, and it's common to add fishnets or corsets to their looks. Gothic Lolita is a fashion from Japan that falls under the Lolita style. Lolita fashion emerged in the 1980s around the Shibuya district. This adorable and doll-like style was inspired by the Western Victorian or Rococo era garments. But rather than wearing pastel or bright colors like other Lolita designs, Gothic Lolita fashion prefers black clothing with a bit more mysterious and ghostly decorations. To dress Gothic Lolita, Pick a black or dark color kneeling dress with laces or frills. The skirts are often bell shape or airline shape. Shoes of choice are usually Mary Janes or boots. Then add a final touch of dark color headpieces, a purse, and accessories resembling bats, skulls, or other gothic elements. Though Gothic Lolita does not have a solid music background, there are some Japanese bands or songs that would fit with Gothic Lolita lovers well. Ali Project, Yosei Taikoku, and Fanatic are some of my favorite bands. Apart from that, the J-Rock musician Mana influenced the Gothic Lolita fashion trend as the owner of the famous Gothic and Lolita fashion brand, Moime Motie. New Goth is the modern fashion meets Gothic. This style can look similar to a trad goth or a witch, Examples are teachers with moon, skull, or pentagram printed on them, leather jackets, black leggings, ripped clothes with fishnets, chokers, and chunky shoes. Those who love new goth fashion may listen to the original 80s goth songs or goth song produced in modern days. Apart from the different goth fashions mentioned earlier, there are many more categories like pastel goth, tribal goth, Western goth, or even white goth, that often remind you of a ghost bride or groom. Nowadays, some take their gothic style into the office while still following the basic dress code. This style is widely called corporate goth. 
Like the seemingly unlimitless clothing fashion out there, a person can experiment with different styles without feeling obligated to stick to just one. The reason why people wear gothic style is rather one of their own. They might like the aesthetic or want to express their subculture and self-discovery. Perhaps the reason could be just that the style touches their soul and has stayed with the person ever since. Despite liking some gothic songs and books, I've never really tried a full-fledged gothic look. If I had to choose one, I'd go for Victorian gothic tailcoat suit. But in reality, I would prefer the corporate goth style more for practical reasons. What about you? Do you usually wear gothic clothes? If so, how would you describe your style? If not, do you have any particular style that you love? And by the way, thank you for being here. Hope to see you on the next journey.